The Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, Improvements for a Healthier America. Did you know that health care costs U.S. consumers $2 trillion annually, or that 17% of GDP is spent on health care? The U.S. also has 46 million Americans without coverage. And to top these startling statistics, insurance premiums are on the rise at a minimum of 4% annually for an average family of four. Something must be done. On March 23, 2010, President Obama signed into legislation the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, also known as PACA or Obamacare. The goals of this legislation were to 1. Provide affordable health care to all while making health care insurance accessible. Second, the goal was to provide quality coverage, and ultimately, PACA was intended to curb the costs of rising health care. So what is PACA all about? Some of the key components include requiring coverage for all U.S. citizens and legal residents. If you don't have coverage, you will pay a penalty. Eliminating pre-existing condition clauses so that everyone can be covered and will not be dropped from coverage should they get sick. Third, dependent children can now be covered up to age 26. Routine and preventative services are covered under accredited plans. And finally, state-controlled insurance exchanges were put in place. This provides another form for people to enroll. An exchange spreads the risk pool across consumers, lowering insurance premiums. The bottom line is as Democrats, we support Obamacare. Obamacare will make America healthier by providing access to all in an affordable manner. Costs of health care will decrease. The quality of care for U.S. citizens will improve. However, Obamacare didn't include everything. There were no medical malpractice limits put in place. Did you know that the average award for a birth-related injury was $2.5 million? Who wouldn't agree that this is excessive? This drives up insurance costs for physicians and drives up medical costs. Also, there are no price controls for what insurance companies can charge for doctor visits, procedures, and prescriptions. U.S. health insurance companies continue to profit while consumers are required to pay more and more for insurance. Obamacare has not been without its challenges. The enrollment website experienced technical difficulties, making it hard for people to enroll. The cost of plans are still high for some who use the exchanges. Consider, for example, a state with a high employer-provided insurance. These states do not have a large risk pool to decrease the cost of premiums. Other consumers struggled with having to change insurance plans. And finally, defensive doctoring continues. Doctors are worried about lawsuits and prescribe unnecessary tests to reduce their exposure to lawsuits. The government's website is down. What am I to do? I've been trying and trying to enroll, but need health care. What is the solution? Okay, no. Doctor, my baby's sick. Can you help me? Yes. Clearly, there are concerns with the current state of health care, from inexperienced doctors to defensive doctoring by ordering unnecessary tests. So is Obamacare affordable? It's improving, but small businesses still have trouble covering employees. Is it accessible? Again, it's improving, but people did have to change plans, and there is room for improvement. Is the quality of care there? No. As we saw, doctors are still driving costs due to medical malpractice concerns. And the solution is, cut out the insurance companies. Members can purchase accredited health care directly through clinics and hospitals, while all of the options of Obamacare can still remain in place. Cutting out the health care insurance companies as an obligation 
will significantly decrease costs, possibly up to as much as 40%. Under this solution, all citizens would still be required to buy coverage. You can think of this as a gym membership with tax benefits. Employers pay a portion of the employee benefits with proof of enrollment. Under the membership program, clinics and hospitals run as private businesses. Traveling out of town? Clubs would have reciprocity with other clubs via a government-run clearinghouse to facilitate payments for day-long memberships. You ask why would hospitals want to act like private clubs? Like any corporation, they will be for profit. Hospitals will provide ownership opportunities to employees. This not only incents employees to control costs, but employees now serve as salespeople to sell and encourage hospital memberships. Quality of care also improves. Better care will translate to more members, which means more profits. You want to be a part of the group. Don't be left out. Join your local hospital or clinic today. Another key solution is to limit medical malpractice lawsuits. You have chosen your plan, selected to go to the best doctors. Now get involved in your care. Participate in decisions that impact your health. No longer will doctors feel obligated to prescribe unnecessary tests to cover their potential liability, or as we like to say, their backsides. Your health will improve as you improve your participation in decisions. Our solution will work. Healthcare will improve through competition. Private memberships create competition. Private memberships simplify the enrollment pri process. Private memberships improve the quality of care. Private memberships will enable America to cover more people. Hospital and clinic memberships are the answer to filling the gaps. However, the Republican position will be that this solution will drive costs due to needing a clearinghouse for out-of-town services. Insurance companies, along with trial lawyers who have deep lobbying pockets, will fight this solution. Financially, these groups will be impacted but the everyday consumer wins with this solution. We will attain PACA's goals. More people will be covered with decreased prices and improved quality of care. Enroll today at your local clinic or hospital for a healthier America. Hmm, the Jetty Clinic. I think I'll try there. Welcome to the Jetty Clinic. Are you looking for healthcare coverage? Yes, I am. Well, at the Jetty Clinic, we have affordable prices, quality doctors, and excellent accessibility to service. Where do I sign up? Can I have your name, please? Thank you for your support of PACA and the Democratic Party. Together, we will create a healthier America.